in the sense that, that, that I was a tour guide. Uh, then I decided to study hotel management. I went to Cornell University, I studied hotel management, uh, got some experience, I work in hotels. Uh, I wasn't satisfied with that, so I got a master's in hotel management slash tourism. Not totally satisfied, so decided to go for a PhD in cultural anthropology. In the meantime, I got a teaching job, and while I was on the job, I got my PhD. And that's how my journey began. Uh, my contribution is that I also brought some of that bag of knowledge from my field, from my field of study, which is my last degree being cultural anthropology. And then also being a facilitator for dissemination of knowledge, like starting a journal or helping with the, with the academy to take off. Um, like anybody else, I publish, but I concentrated mostly in creating the platform for uh, uh, receiving the knowledge and disseminating the knowledge and legitimizing uh, the achievements that tourism has had uh, so quickly. What did I start? Well, Annals of Tourism Research, International Academy for the Study of Tourism, uh, two book series, uh, Tourism Social Science series, uh, of tourism has been to become an academic field of study. And it needed to legitimize itself uh, that, yes, we are a field of study, we have theory, we have methodology, we are just like any other field of study. And to do so, we had to import knowledge. We did not develop our own knowledge. So the people who came to tourism are basically, to the study of tourism, are people basically from other disciplines. They realized that tourism is an interesting topic to study, but they came with their own bag of knowledge. As we import the knowledge, then we want it to be like other fields of studies, so that the universities would take tourism as a legitimate field of study. So we needed to have journals, academic journals, independent journals, referee journals. But then what we started doing is we cycle and recycle the same knowledge within the area we call tourism. So I quote you, you quote me, and I quote you, and you quote me. So the same knowledge is being circulated and circulated. A mistake that was made and is still being made is that people came, stayed in tourism, and gradually forgot about their mother discipline. So most majority of them are predominantly active in tourism while making very few contributions to the fields that they came from. Therefore, our knowledge is not being exported now to the lands that it came from. And that's why other fields don't really understand as well. Our challenge as a field of tourism is now to export the knowledge, to say we have arrived, we have something to tell you. Let us tell you how you understand tourism, uh, sociology through tourism. How can you understand culture through tourism? How can you understand international relations through tourism. You know, I would love to see one day on a campus somebody, uh, master's student, PhD student, say, what do you study? I study sociology. Oh, but I see you're carrying a book on tourism. Oh, I'm understanding sociology by the practice of tourism because there is sociology in tourism. That hasn't arrived yet. Our students study sociology and anthropology, but those students don't know that we even have an article to read, let alone journals after journals, books after journals. So we have to introduce ourselves to those, particularly to social science fields.